Prices in Venezuela may reach a flashpoint this weekend as the government of Nicolás Maduro vows not to allow humanitarian aid from the United States to enter the country. President Trump was in Miami yesterday calling on the Venezuelan military to allow the aid to reach the people who need it. But today, Maduro, President Nicolás Maduro and Venezuela's top general said that won't happen. Donald Trump in Miami. Embattled Venezuelan President Nicolás Maduro firing back at President Trump hours after he addressed a large crowd at FIU about the growing crisis in Venezuela. Con una retorica. A tired rhetoric questioning our right as a free country to adopt the ideas of socialism, which is humane and Christian, our socialism. It was a Nazi-style speech. President Trump sending a strong message that the U.S. stands behind opposition leader Juan Guaido and urged Venezuela's military to switch their support to him. Maduro responded. Donald Trump. Donald Trump wants to ban ideologies, the political ideologies, and wants to impose his way of thinking of the white supremacists in the White House. No. Venezuela will continue with its division of ideologies. We will continue to be multiracial. While much of Mr. Trump's speech was directed at the Venezuelan military, the country's top general called the speech arrogant, saying the military will remain loyal to the Maduro government. President Donald Trump gave a speech in Florida, and we could not contain our shock at the arrogant bullying tone and stubbornness of his words. Meanwhile, in nearby Colombia, a stage is going up for a weekend concert that aims to bring attention to the Venezuelan crisis. The event is organized by billionaire Richard Branson, a backer of opposition leader Juan Guaido. Well, some 700,000 people are expected to attend that concert on the Colombian-Venezuelan border. Meanwhile, the Maduro regime is planning a concert of its own and plans to distribute 300 tons of humanitarian aid arriving tomorrow in Venezuela from Russia.